Are you still making Revit drawings manually and dragging lines around? That's not a designer's job. In this case study you will see how to use Grasshopper to make lots of Revit sections at once and place them on sheets automatically. We will also apply simple filters and graphics so your drawings look consistent and you can produce a clean documentation set really fast. Hi, I'm Chris, I'm founder of LearnGrasshopper.com learning platform and I have trained more than 3000 AAC professionals from 80 different countries. This lesson is part of our comprehensive Grasshopper in Revit training, which takes you from zero programming experience through clear practical steps to automate Revit tasks with Grasshopper. If the Revit API feels intimidating or you feel limited by clumsy Dynamo, this is the simplest way to start. Join the next edition of Grasshopper in Revit training to automate frustrating manual work, keep model fast and deliver clean, consistent documentation. Subscribe and join the waiting list. We'll send you a free learning materials right away at grasshopperinrevit.com. Now, Jung Fu Park, one of the best known experts in Grasshopper for Revit, who presented Grasshopper at Autodesk University, will walk you through the Revit drawing automation process. Good luck! Hi everyone, now we are in case study for session 6. So uh, what we're going to do, we'll have a bridge model um, that we can create sections along the bridge axis and place them into our sheet. So we'll automate this uh, bunch of sections which creating from Revit using Rhino inside Revit. Okay, so let's have a look at our example file. Um, if you open the grasshopper definition, you'll see we have here data input. So make sure you have a right source file from your folder. And when you have it, both geometry, which actually generated from um, Sophistics uh, grasshopper plugin, and we just have uh, information from another grasshopper definition. Okay, so don't worry about the previous steps that we, it's important for us to generate those as a um, geometry in uh, Revit and we'll create particular material and adding them as a Revit uh, road world family elements here. So we have all this native um, geometry is generated in Revit and you can imagine this is like similar to our section create elements there all the custom um, geometry from Rhino and Grasshopper we apply as a roadable family. Okay, so that's up here, it defined bridge decks and etc. Now we're going to create sections along the curve. So what are you going to do? We have here access definition from Grasshopper and that we will divide um, this curve Access curve, 30 divisions, and we'll connect this as a line without first and last uh, points. And this here, we're going to keep horizontal frames, and this frame will be deconstructed and we will uh, locate it into um, this uh, plane position. And then from here, we're going to create a domain box, which is going to define the section view depths of each plane. Okay. Uh, we flip this plane and it, you can see here we have this uh, domain box. And then from here, we want to create section. Um, we'll use the list strength of those 30 division to have a name. And the frame we're going to use is this domain box to give the depths. And once you have it, we can construct this view based on the viewport. So we'll inspect the element and then the scale value and we'll divide and we will add them um, and giving them crop region and we'll construct the points based on those mass addition. And this constructed point will be the, um, sorry, will be basically um, we'll add those constructed point uh, along to your view 
and in this case we have a sheet so it's uh this sheet is generated and you can see here we will populate those view so let's take a look uh ready this code let's take a look um those um view right now it's a bit lagging because of the visualizing them in rhino viewport we'll go directly to the Revit um, project here so if you can see here we created a bunch of sections um, along the axis line and this will be placed in the sheet 102 and if I open it you can see all this position is parametrically uh, uh, arrayed and they are just each point center the drawing is uh, aligned here with graspable value and you can see here also we have uh, all this viewport which defining the as uh, it shows the section lines let's go to our graspable definition and I'm going to make it bigger and if you now we will have a section view which uh, goes every frame of this line right that's the section view we're going to create and here we're gonna construct the domain box again and this one we will create sections remember we add all the sections according to uh, the same composition we create sections here and this section and we'll put actually they are this is exactly the same definition we did here but um we will move this and add sections in the sheet in this case we have um 20 points in this direction so there there are two different uh section you can imagine one cross sections and another along the so this is one another one is here you can see two different section direction and we add them into the sheet okay so that's how we place again all this another direction of sections along the uh, uh, Position of points in this specific Revit sheets. So it's it looks complex, but uh, basically we have this axis and divided by thirty points, and each each points will give a bounding box in one direction and another direction, and this we, all those bounding box will define the depth of your um, section view. And those two views will be placed in our title block. Okay, so that's the uh, exercise. If you go through the component one by one, um, you'll easily catch what we wanted to achieve in this example. The only things a bit uh, not really about this session is about creating the elements what we did already in previous session so i don't think you'll have any problem to understand that workflow very useful we can automize a bunch of batch sections using right inside revit um eliminating repeated work uh from revit okay thank you very much so we'll conclude this uh session six and we're going to move on the last session, chapter 7, uh, in the next tutorial. Thank you very much. If you want to learn more about drawing automation process, join the next edition of Grasshopper in Revit training to automate frustrating manual work, keep model fast, and deliver clean, consistent documentation. Subscribe and join the waiting list. We will send you free learning materials right away at grasshopperinrevit.com. Have a good one.